question you have done wrong. Question number fourth. This I am talking about yesterday's quiz, which was on yes, powers sir. and exponents. Okay. Yes. The question was very small numbers. Very small numbers can be expressed. Can be expressed in standard form in standard form using dash exponents okay so the options were equal exponents negative positive or none so what is your answer nimisha you have given as positive isn't it yes so what do you mean by very small numbers? Like, can you give one example? Like some negative numbers, minus one, minus two. No, very small number. It means to say like you are having point zero 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 Decimals. zero two. So to write it in standard form, how will you write it? It can be positive or negative, but decimal after decimal, there are a lot of zeros there, isn't it? Ten, uh, two into two, 10 to the power minus five. 2 into 10 to the power minus 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So here, what exponent we are using? We are using negative, negative. exponent. Understood? Yes. Okay. So take a screenshot. Right. Now, if I am writing minus, suppose 0 0.00001, then also what you will write in standard form minus 1 into 10 to the power minus minus 5 minus 5 so here also exponent will always be negative okay if there are two if there are less numbers means two less in value means it is also less than one isn't it okay fourth question fifth question also you have not attempted even i am clearing this fifth one fifth one was if root 5 is given as x minus 2 then what is the value of x minus 2 whole cube? So, Naman, where is your video? Again, network issue today also. You are eating something, Cadbury or yes, very sir. special chocolate, I think. 99% yes. I am sure. Yes. Okay, then have you solved this question? What was your answer? Was yes. it right or wrong? It was right, sir. Right. Namisha, tell me how to do such questions. I don't know, sir. Why? It was such simple question. Root 5 is equal to x minus 2. This implies x will be equal to how much? Root 5 plus 2. Is this much clear to you? Yes, sir. No, we want x minus 2 whole cube. That means what is the value of x? Root 5 plus 2. And then minus 2 is also there in the bracket whole cube can we write like this yes equal to root 5 whole cube that means what root root 5 into root 5 into root 5 now root 5 into root 5 is what 5 and root 5 again is left 5 root 5 that's all what's the doubt in that there is your doubt nemisha what doubt you have in such question, are they too difficult no, to sir. attempt? Then you have not attempted even. Then I was not knowing how to do. Now you can attempt such questions. Yes. Sir. Okay, screenshot you have taken already of this question. Yes. Or you, I have to tell. Taken. Question number six. This question also, I think you have not attempted, and we have done such questions. Because previously also these questions have appeared in your quiz. 8 plus root under. Then comes 7, 7, 3 plus root. Naman, have you done it correctly? No, sir. Plus root under 2 plus root under 520 plus root under 81. In powers and exponents, these questions are common. Okay, so you have to practice for that. Now, first of all, we have to start from where, Nimisha? 
Which one to be solved first? The first root number 81 will be 9. So 529 okay, will be written under. This will be written as 529, isn't it? Yes. 529. So can you find the root of 529? Yes. What will be the answer? Tell me. Samarth, speak something so that I can know that you can be audible in this meeting. Have you done this correctly, Samarth? Unmute yourself. Yes. Sir. Have you done this question? Sir. Can you check it? Yes, sir. You have done it correctly. <clears throat> yes, sir. Okay, good. So, what will be root under 529? Tell me, any one of you. See, 30 into 30 is 900. It is too far, isn't it? Now, 20 into 20 is 400, isn't it? So, 17. So, what can be the value? 25, huh? 23 into 23 is logical because 3, 3 is a 9, isn't it? So, here it will be 46 and here again, 46, 6, 0, 1, 5, 1, second. 3, 3 is a 9, yes, here it will be 9. So, 6, here it is 69. Ah, okay, it will be 529. Then, so, 23 is the root of 529. We can write here 23, isn't it? Yes. So, 23 plus 2 can be written directly, which is 25. 23 plus 2 is 25, no? Yes, sir. So, we can write here yes, directly sir. 25. Now, root under 25 is how much? 5. 5. So, let us write 5 here. And 5 plus 116 will be? 121. 121. Now, root under 121 is how much? 11. 11. Okay. So, let us write 11 here. Now, 11 plus 773 means? 784. Okay. So, let us write 784 here. Now, can you find the square root of this 784? Yes, sir. What will be the value? So, 28. 28. Okay, good. So, 28 plus 8 is how much? 36. 36. 36. And root under 36 is how much? 6. 6. Is this option not given? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes. Okay, then I am clearing this. Next question, seventh one. Seventh one, has anyone attempted this? Seventh one? 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus dot 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 plus 101, isn't it? I think no one has done it. I did it, sir. How? Tell us. Sir, I added them. You added all of them till 101? Yes, in sir. calculator? No, sir. Not then. How can you add them up? There will be a lot of numbers. Till 101, you have to add it. Yes, sir. So, how, much, how many hours you have taken for that? Not hours, sir. Minutes. See, here I am telling you on logic. I think I have not uh, told before. First, this is to be taken as the first value. This is A, okay? And this is the last term. This is to be taken as A, N. Because we know that the sum of first N odd numbers is what? N square. Sum of first N odd numbers is equal to N square. We have already done that in the class, yes, isn't it? Sir. Now, we want to find the value of N. What do you mean by N? Number of numbers that we are taking, isn't it? How many numbers are there in total, first of all? So, this is called as the first term. This A is called as the first term, okay? 
first term and this is called as the nth term okay nth term and there is one formula a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d okay what is the d d is the common difference it is called as common difference between successive numbers common difference like between 1 and 3 what is the common difference 2 in 3 and 5 also 2 everywhere common difference is 2 only now yes so the value of d is 2 a n means nth term that is 101 is equal to samarth your video is not available are you there a a will be taken as 1 plus n is not known into d d is what 2 okay from this equation can we find the value of n yes sir. And such series with common difference is called as arithmetic series or arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. Or in short form, it is called as AP. Understood? Yes. Like if I'm writing 1, 2, 3, 4, these are also in AP only. Okay, arithmetic progression because common difference is 1 in this series. And in the question, the number of series which we have taken, common difference is 2, isn't it? So now, what is the value of n? Can you tell me? By solving this equation, what will be the value of n? Because we want so the value of n. I am getting 5.5, sir. Uh, value of n, Nimisha, what you are getting, Samarth, you also try. If you can't tell or your video is not available, you can uh, give a chat and tell what's your answer. You have to find the value of n in this equation. 101 equal to 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. And uh, Naman, you are wrong. So try again. So I am getting 51.5. 51.5. That is also wrong. Try again. Thomas, try to unmute yourself. See here we can write 101 minus 1. This 1 can be taken left side. Equal to it will be what? N minus 1 into 2 isn't it or we can write 101 minus 1 is how much 100 yes equal to 2 into n minus 1 now this 2 can be brought left side that means 100 by 2 if 2 is brought on the left side 100 by 2 will be equal to n minus 1 100 by 2 is how much 50 50 means 50 is equal to n minus 1. That means n equal to what? 50 plus 1, which is equal to 51. So n is what? n is 51, isn't it? Yes. Check how we have done. Any doubt in this method? Yes. Samarth, have you tried this? Yes. Sir. Can you see the equation what we have yes, used? So I have written here yes, a n equal to a plus n minus 1 by d arithmetic progression which we have not gone through. But write it down, it will come afterwards. Arithmetic series or progression or AP, anything can be written as, okay, AP. So arithmetic progression is what? Where there is a series like this, where there will be a common difference between two successive terms. Like 1 and 3, common difference is 2. Between 3 and 5, common difference is 2. Between 5 and 7, common difference is 2, isn't it? Whenever we subtract 3 minus 1, 5 minus 3, 7 minus 5, always we'll be getting 2. And that 2 is called common difference or this D. So D has been taken as 2. N minus 1, N we don't know in the equation. A, N means nth term. That is the last term. That is 101. 
and we know the formula a n equal to a plus n minus one into d. Okay, from that only we have found n. Now if n is equal to fifty one, then we have to just find n square. That is fifty one square, isn't it? Because we know that the sum of first n odd numbers is given by n square that we have already written, isn't it? So what will the value of fifty one square? Fifty one square is equal to how much? Sir, two six zero. Two six zero one. Nimisha, what you have got? Same, sir. Okay. So take a screenshot of this also and practice it. Can I clear this page now? Yes. Okay. Eighth question is also based on the same cube root of okay one plus three plus five plus seven and so on till the last one is six eighty five is equal to how much? Okay. So this whole series is in AP. That is arithmetic progression because the difference is two only everywhere, isn't it? Now we have to find the value of n. Nimisha, tell me how to find out. Can you tell me what is the formula used? Sir, a into n minus one into d. A n is equal to what? A n equals to a into n minus one into a d. plus n minus one into d. Yes, sir. Okay, please remember. So a n is what? Six eighty five. Yes. Equal to a is what one the first term, this is called a, and this is called a n. Okay, plus n we don't know, so let us leave it that uh, in that way only into d. What is d? D was what two. D was the common difference, na? Common difference is two here. So now tell me what will the value of n from this equation? Try to solve everyone. Tell me what will the value of n? Sir, seven. Seven. Nimisha Naman, have you solved? How can it be seven? Tamarth, if I am writing seven in place of n. Then what is the value of n minus one? Six. Six into two will be twelve. Twelve plus one will be thirteen. So on the right side we are getting thirteen, and on the left side it is six eighty five. They should be equal on either side. Isn't it? So n equal to three four one three hundred forty one. Three forty one. Nimisha, how much time more you require? Not getting the answer. You are not getting the answer only. Wow, six eighty five minus one. This one it's, can be brought this side. This much is understood. Now two is now two can be brought on the left side, so it will be divided by two. Yes, sir. Equal it's to n minus one. N minus one. Or we can write plus one equal to n. N minus one means if this one yes. comes on the left side plus one, isn't it? Yes. Now six yes. eighty five minus one is how much? Six six eighty four by two plus one, which is equal to two three za two four za two two za plus one, is equal to three four three. Is this the answer you told me, Naman? Sir, yeah. what you got? Three forty one you got, and Nimisha got nothing, isn't it? Six, so. Three forty three is the value of what n, isn't it? And we want what 
sum of these numbers will be what n square understood so we got cube root of now inside we can write 343 into 343 so i have a doubt sir Yes. 6, 8, 4 uh, by 2 plus 1 you wrote. So then 3, 4, yes. 2 plus 1. How plus 1 came on the opposite side? So. I have just written the value of this. We are solving this one. N equal to this whole? Yes. Now we have to solve this one. So first we solve yes. the bracket one. 685 yes. minus 1 is 684. 684 by 2 plus 1. And this is equal to this. We are not equating any side. We are just finding the value of 684 by 2 plus 1. That is 342, 684 by 2 yes. plus 1. That is 343. Okay. Now, the sum of first n odd natural numbers we have. Ah, summer. Anything? Summer, your video has paused and not audible. Okay. So, we can write 343 square if we want the sum of this series, isn't it? Miss Nimisha, is it this much clear? Yes. Now, can you find the uh, uh, factors of 343 or square root of it or anything? We have to find now cube root of 343 into 343, isn't it? Can you factorize 343? Yes. How? What will be the factor? Doing. Hmm. Seven cube is three forty three. Seven into seven into seven, isn't it? If you find the factor, yes. so it means this one is seven cube and into seven cube. Yes. Or seven to the power how much? Three plus three that is six. Yes. Whole to the power what? One by three. If cube root is there. Yes. If there is cube root here, we can write it as one by three. For square root, we are writing it as one by two. Are you aware yes. of this? So this will be equal to what? 7 to the power 6 by 3. 6 into 1 by 3 is 6 by 3. And 6 by 3 is what? 3 to the 6, 7 square, which is equal to what? 49. Yes. Is it the option given 49? Yes. So take a screenshot and practice yourself. Can I clear this page now? Yes. yes. Okay. So what is the next question, Nimisha? Can you tell me? After eight questions, which you have not attempted or done it wrongly? Checking. For a fixed base 10. Okay, one second. For a fixed base 10. If the exponent decreases by 1. If the exponent decreases by 1. Yes. Sir. Let it be x decreases by 1. Okay. Then. The number becomes. Okay. Means first. Okay. Now it is open. First. It was the uh, 10 to the power x is the value. And after that it is what? 10 to the power x minus 1. Isn't it? Suppose if I am taking 10 to the power 2. Now it will be 10 to the power 1. Yes, sir. If I am taking 10 cube, then it will be 10 square because we are decreasing the exponent by 1, isn't it? Yes. So this is 100 and this is 10. If this is 1000, then this is 100. Okay, means what is happening? 1. What is the first option written? 1, one tenth of the ten previous of number, the isn't previous it? Number. Because yes, this sir. is 1 tenth of 100. So by taking example, you can already find one tenth of what? Thousand. So one zero will get cancelled. So we are getting hundred here. One zero will get cancelled. So we are getting ten here. Okay. So first option is right. Understood? Yes. Okay. Take a screenshot. I am clearing this page now. 
second. Next question also you have done wrongly. The value of 2 to the power 2001 plus 2 to the power 19. This question has been repeated before also in the quiz. This question has appeared. Means you are not practicing these questions again. Two to the power nineteen ninety eight. Naman, have you done it correctly? This question. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. So here we have taken what two to the power nineteen nineteen nine as common. Now what is left here? Two to the power how much? Nineteen ninety eight two thousand and two thousand. Two to the power what should be written here? Nimisha. Yes, sir. What should be written as exponent for 2? If I am taking 2 to the power 1999 as common outside, then this into this should be what? It should be this. How can it come? Exponents, if added up, it should be what? 2001. So what to be added to 1999 to get 2001? 2. Then why are you taking so much time in that? 2 plus. Now what can be written here? 1 oh. divided by. Now here also 2 to the power 1998 can be taken as common. Now inside what will be the exponent of this 2? 3. 3. 1998 plus 3 is how much? 2 plus 1. Minus 1 equal to 2 to the power 1999 minus 1998 means these two are over now into 2 square plus 1 means 4 plus 1 divided by 2 square minus 1 means 4 minus 1 that is 3 yes sir. equal to 2 into 5 by 3 equal to 10 by 3 can we write like this yes sir. yes sir. is it not the option given yes, yes sir. sir then Take a screenshot. Taken. Taken. What is the next question, Nimisha? After 11th, which you have not done or wrongly done? If x is a non-zero number. If x is a non-zero number. Integer. Integer. No, sir. Zero non -zero integer. integer. Uh, non zero integer. Comma m is a positive integer. M is a positive integer. And n is a negative integer. N is a negative integer. Then x to the power m. X to the power m. Divided by x to the power n. Uh, is equal to. X to the power m. X is a non-negative integer. M is a positive integer. M divided by x to the power n is a negative integer. Is written? X to the power n. So it will be equal to whatever it may be. We know x to the power m minus n is always written for division. Exponents get subtracted. Yes. Is it the option given? Yes. <clears throat> so there should not be have, uh, any doubt in this. It has been done before also. Take a screenshot. Take it. What is the next question, Nimisha? I am clearing this. One second. I am seeing in my mobile only. Simplified form that you have done. This you have done. This you have done. Uh, that you have done. Wrongly done. Okay. Okay. Uh, question number 18. Question number 18 was what? The size of a red blood cell is 0 0.000007 M. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros are there. Okay. And then it is the size of a plant cell is 0 0.00001275. Okay. Compare them, isn't it? Okay. So how to compare? We have to just divide them, isn't it? So can we write them in exponential form? Yes, why not? You have to write them in such a manner that you can find the solution of that. That's all. 
Now here we can write seven into ten to the power what minus six. And here we can write one two seven five into ten to the power how much? One two three four five six seven eight minus eight, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Equal to now here you can write seven zero 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 divided by one two seven five. 1, 2, 7, 5 into 10 to the power. Here we have multiplied because three zeros have been added. Means here we will have to also divide by that. That means minus 3 we will have to write here. Is this much understood? Yes. 7 into 1000 we have done. So we have added here into 10 to the power minus 3. And this minus 8 if brought in the numerator it will be plus 8. Yes. Can you do like this? Now you have to simplify this 7000 by 1275. Can you do this much? Yes. Okay, simplify it. Or see, uh, 1275 into how much is 7000? Equal to. Now what can be written? Or you can simplify by taking 5 as a factor. 5 twos are 10. 5 5 25, then 5 5 za. 5 1 za 5, 5 4 za 0 0. Can we write like this? Yes. yes. Now again 5 5 za and 1 za. Here we can write 5 2 za 10, 5 8 za and 0 za. Isn't it? 280 by 51. If we divide 280 by 51, then what can be the value? 51. Here point will be there. No, 51 into how much will be 280 or approximately less than that? 51 fives are about 250, isn't it? 51 six are is about how much? It will be 300. So less than that means 51 fives are can be done. 255, isn't it? Yes. Fives are means 255. And here what we are going to get 10 minus 5 is 5, 7 minus 5 is 2, isn't it? So here we can write 0 and here we can take as point. 5 point something, isn't it? Now 51 into how much? 51 into approximately 5. Because 255 was there. Okay. So here we are getting 5.5 into 10 to the power how much? 8 minus 9. 8 minus 9 means minus 1 equal to 5.5 divided by 10 or we can write it as 0.55 which is approximately equal to what? Half because it is 55 by 100 or 50 by 100 approximately, isn't it? Yes. 5 twos are 10. So it is nearest to 1 by 2, isn't it? Is that the option given? Yes. Then what is the next question? Screenshot taken? Yes. yes. Next question you have not attempted, Nimisha. 19th one, isn't it? What is the simplified form of cube root of x to the power 4y into 1 divided by 4th root of x square into y to the power 8. You don't know how to do it, Nimisha? No idea? It's a cross multiplication. See, first of all, we have to remove these cube roots or fourth root. We can write it in simplified form as what? x to the power 4y to the power 1 by 3. Okay? Into 1 divided by x square y to the power. We have to make it simpler to find the solution simply, isn't it? 1 by 4 as exponent. Can we write like this? Yes. Now we have to just multiply the exponents first. x to the power 4 into 1 by 3 means 4 by 3. y to the power 1 by 3. Isn't it? Into 1 by x to the power 2 by 4. And one second, y to the power what? 8 by 4. Is this not understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So, x to the power 4 by 3 and this x to the power 2 by 4 means x to the power half. 2 by 4 is half only. And that if taken as numerator, then it will be minus half. 
this is 4 by 3. So this is 4 by 3 minus half. Can we write like this? Yes. Into y to the power 1 by 3 was already there. 8 by 4 means 2. Means y square is there in denominator. If brought in numerator, it will be minus 2. Isn't it? Can we write like this? Yes. Equal to x to the power. 4 by 3 minus half. We can take LCM as 6. 3 twos are means 8 minus 2 threes are means 3. And y to the power what? 3 LCM. We can write it as what? 1 minus 6. That is minus 5 by 3. Or it is equal to x to the power 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 by 6. And divided by y to the power 5 by 3. Or you can write y to the power minus 5 by 3. What are the options given? Uh, x to the power y, uh, y, y to the power 10 is given, isn't it? Yes, y to the power 10 divided by x to the power 5. 5. x to the power 5. Okay, once again, let me check. y to the power 10 minus 5 by 3. x to the power 5 by 6 divided by y to the power 5 by 3. Now, if I'm multiplying this to power y to the power 10. Okay, this uh, we will check again because we can take the values of x and y. Let us take it as 1 and 1, okay? So, if this is 1, this is 1 means cube root of 1 into 1 by, here also we can take 4th root of 1, that is 1 only. So, the value will be 1 here, okay? Now, let us take 1 here. This will be also 1 only. Now, what it has told? Okay, we have to take some other values. Okay, we will check again afterwards. Okay, take a screenshot of this. You can also cross check and try this one again yourself. Okay, okay sir. tomorrow we'll discuss this one. I am clearing this page. Yes, 20th one. Last question Evaluate 1 by 216. Nimisha, you're not entered it. No, hold to the power minus 2 by 3. Okay plus 1 by 256 whole to the power how much minus I'm 3 by 4 so. okay minus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 32 whole to the power minus 1 by 5 isn't it which can be written as 216 whole to the power 2 by 3 can we write like this 256 whole to the power 3 by 4 Yes. 32 to the power 1 by 5. Okay. Equal to. Now, can we take the factors of 216? <clears throat> Let us factorize this 216. Okay. 2 1s are 0 2 8. Okay. 2 5s are 4s are 2 27 and 3 9 and 3 3. Isn't it? So we can write it as 2 cube and 3 cube, isn't it? Yes. Whole to the power 2 by 3 plus. Now let us factorize 256. So what can be the factors? 2, 1, 2 and 8, 128. Then 2 and 64, 2 and 32 and then 2 and 16, 2 and 8, 2 and 4. 2 and 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think 8 2s are there. Yes. 2 to the power 8. Whole to the power what? 3 by 4. Yes. Plus 32 is 2 to the power 5 and 1 by 5 equal to. Now what can be written? 2 to the power 3 into 2 by 3. Can we write like this? Yes. Sir. Not sure. Nimisha. If uh, there is a formula a to the power m whole to the power n, is it not written as a to the power m into n or mn? Yes. Sir. Exponents are multiplied now when base are same. In the same way, if 2 cube whole to the power 2 by 3 is there, so it will be 2 to the power 3 into 2 by 3. Exponents yes, are sir. multiplied and 3 is also used in the same way 3 into 2 by 3 plus yes, 2 to the power 8 into 3 by 4. Isn't it? 
प्लस टू टू दावर फाइव इंटू वन बाई फाइव ओके इक्वल टू नाउ दिस विल कैंसल आउट थ्री 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 हेयर ऑल्सो थ्री थ्री विल बी कैंसल सो टू स्क्वायर इंटू थ्री स्क्वायर प्लस हेयर फोर टू साइट टू टू दावर सिक्स प्लस टू बिकॉज फाइव विल गेट कैंसल्ड so yes. what are the values 4 plus 9 plus 2 to the power 6 is 64 plus 2 so what it comes to when i add up 64 plus 2 is 66 66 6 plus 9 is 75 75 plus 4 is 79 is 79 given as the option in the answer namesha No sir. No. Let us cross check two hundred and sixteen minus two by three plus two fifty six to the power minus three by four thirty to the power minus one by five. So the section is about two by three, three by four, one by five. Uh, eight to the nine to the twenty-seven. Okay, two hundred and sixteen. That is right. Plus two to the power eight. That is two fifty-six. Samarth, you can also check if uh, there is anything wrong. Two to the power five into one by five. Two to the power eight. Three by four. Two to the power eight. Two to the four. Four to the two. Sixteen. 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 The two fifty six. That is right. So two cube into two by three. Three cube into two by three plus two to the power eight into three by four plus two to the power five into one by five. Okay. Two square plus three square plus two to the power six plus two. Two square is four plus nine plus sixty four plus two. Sixty four plus two is sixty six. Seventy five and four is seventy nine. So I think the answer is okay. But you can also cross check. Take a screenshot of this and see if there is anything wrong. We will again cross check it tomorrow also. So the last questions, last two questions are not matching, isn't it? Nineteenth and twentieth. Yes. So that we will match afterwards. Okay, we will check it. any other doubt in any question no okay so in squares and square roots tomorrow we will be doing the long division method okay that you have gone through once namisha yes. namas naman have you seen that to find the square root by division method so uh, till uh, where we have studied yesterday uh, till that i have read no i am talking about some new thing okay tomorrow we will go through that okay So that's all for today. Today's quiz. How much marks you got, Namisha? Forty-five. And uh, Samarth. Forty. How much? Forty. Forty. Uh, Naman. Yes. Oh, Naman is not there. I think he is eating something. Okay. Yes. Then let us end the quiz uh, class today. Bye bye.